Well, what we're going to talk about today is healing in those four seasons I spent as director of Creative Health Institute. I saw people come in with a huge range of health challenges and in, in some cases dance out the front door. I'm not talking about cures. I'm not talking about miracles. I'm not talking about raw foods cure anything. I'm saying that the body heals itself when you put good material into it. But when we're putting processed foods and pollutants and herbicides and pesticides and all that non-organic stuff in our body, that right off the bat puts a big load on the body to get it out again. One example, a woman comes in with a tumor on her foot. She'd had this tumor for seven years. She'd been to something like 19 doctors in three states. And they'd reached the point that, well, we'll just amputate your foot. Oh. <laughs> she was at Creative Health Institute for three weeks. I helped carry her wheelchair in, okay? At the end of three weeks, she had donated her walker, donated her wheelchair, and she literally danced out the door because the tumor was gone. Consider that our DNA is this helix. I think everybody's mm -hmm. seen the picture of it. Um, and when we stress our bodies through work, environment, diet, lack of exercise, etc. All these things that stress our body, the DNA actually tightens up. Now I take this nice piece of, of uh, embroidery thread here, it's nice and smooth, and when I start twisting this, as you twist this tighter and tighter, you'll see where the strands start to fray. See that there in the light? Yes, I do. Okay. Well, consider that's your DNA. And as you stress your DNA, genome pairs will start to shut side. down. Oh. Well, they just shut down. And the easiest way to de-stress the body is start putting better food in it. In this episode, we're going to combine making two different kinds of spaghetti noodles. Okay. And then we're going to make a sauce for our spaghetti. Okay. Which also turns out to be a great dip for crackers. <laughs> you can get these to come out as noodles, right? Right. Okay, show me how. <laughs> <laughs> Another way would be to do this action. Mm -hmm. And you just start turning, and look how it comes out. Beautiful. So we're going to make the sauce next? No. The sauce, as I said, is going to also be our chip dip for our, for our flax crackers, or all the different cracker recipes that you've been experimenting with. 